guys and welcome to my new video. In today's video I'm going to be sharing something very exciting which you might have already noticed a little bit behind me. Um, but first of all I want this video to be like a thank you slash tribute to all the students that are enrolled in my floral impressionistic course because the paintings that you guys have been creating are amazing and I want to share some of them because I want everybody to know that anyone is capable of learning to paint and getting the beautiful joy of painting. So here are some of my students' work. Um, at the minute, all together, there are about 580 students in the program and just the paintings that they are creating are beautiful. And more than that, to see people really enjoying painting and getting the joy from it again without the stress of, you know, how to mix colors and how to layer a painting and different brush techniques and just to follow along with the steps and to get that joy of painting again is really amazing so a huge thank you to everybody that has chosen to enroll in the course and um, if you are interested in joining there's some more information I'll pop a link in the description box but yes a huge thank you to everybody and I absolutely love the paintings you are creating so back to the video I have had a bit of a change here in the studio this is why I've been a bit quiet on YouTube recently because it's been very busy and very hectic in here so I'm gonna do some like before shots of what this place looked like and if you're like a long time subscriber then you probably know what the studio used to look like um, it's not like a huge change but for me it means so much because I have so much more storage and my husband has put uh, has put in this amazing system onto the wall that I'd seen on Pinterest and I was like please can you do this <laughs> just showed him a picture and yeah it's incredible it's a way to be able to pop all my paintings up so that they can dry without putting nails in the wall here and there and everywhere so yeah I'll cut to some shots of the studio and what it looks like now really love the studio. I'm so excited about it and I can't wait to properly paint in it yet because I haven't yet. My favourite parts are this little nook here and um, with my plan and my books and like a little painting on the easel and also I just love these shelves up here and um, so these are the little bookshelves from Ikea that are just like a plank of wood and um, they're not very thick but they're the perfect like width to pop a little painting on and a plant and I feel like I'm gonna change around all these little paintings depending what series I'm working on and it's a great place for little paintings to dry as well. I also thought I'd show you a, like an up close shot of these wooden um, poles because I don't know if you can tell properly from the video I've already filmed so I'm going to show you a bit of a close up and show you how they work. So these are just like wooden um, planks. Just try and take this painting off very carefully. Just pop this painting down. Yes, yeah, so they kind of just go all the way down the wall like this. They've had holes drilled into them, so like the hole goes right through. And then we have these little uh, wooden pieces of dowel, where is it, here? And so these are the wooden pieces of dowel that go in the hole. They've just been crimped on the edge so that they slide in easier. And you can just literally pop it in. And I would probably recommend having two if you're going to hold um, a bigger painting, but yeah, we did all this ourselves, um, me and my husband together, and as you can see, I have like pretty much uh, the whole wall with these on, so that I can put all my paintings on and put them and display them all together. And there's the option of moving the dowels around so that you can really change how the like the um, 
the paintings sit. So it's really great, especially when you're working on lots of different sizes. So I wasn't planning to film this bit, but I've just had a very exciting delivery from the postman. So all of those of you um, that saw the whole Magno Magnolia launch recently, um, of Nature's Charm was what the series was called, and couldn't get hold of an original. There are a few originals still available, the ones you can see behind me on my website at katiejobling.com. But also I've had a delivery of something very excited I wanted to show you. What is it? What could it be? <laughs> <laughs> so when I do um, prints, I like to check that the colours are very vibrant and beautiful, which these ones look like they are. But I like to do a print check and get them all on a piece of paper together just to make sure that everything is in harmony together and that all the colours and the quality is good. Um, so obviously when you purchase a print, it won't be all of them on one page, it will just be one one painting on one page. But this is so exciting because as you can see they're like all little paintings. And they're so cute, like I just love these little mini ones. Um, so this means that very very soon all the Nature's Charm prints will be available as prints. All the, all the, sorry, all the Nature's Charm paintings will be available as prints and they are being uploaded as we speak. So I'm very, very excited. If you would like to get notified of when the prints will hit my online shop and you'd like to be notified, then I'll pop a link in the description box that you can sign up with to make sure that you are the first to get notified. So yes, I'm very, very excited. I will show you some close-ups of the paintings now. So there are all the prints. As you can see, there are some behind me, like uh, this one here is literally the painting behind me. Let me get it. <laughs> that is so cool. As you can see, the colours are very vibrant and beautiful. I've invested in some very good quality, heavy duty um, equipment to make sure that the prints are of the best quality I can possibly make happen. Um, so yeah, that is very exciting. Other exciting news is I've been trying something brand new because <laughs> I always want to encourage people to try new things even if they're not very good at it, it's fine. And last night I made my first plant pot <laughs> out of air dry clay. Now I know what you're thinking, it's a bit wonky and that's okay. You know, I kind of like it the way it is. I'm happy for it to look wonky. I even put drainage holes in and it's very delicate because it's still drying but I also made like a little dish for it to sit in. Um, so I'm very excited about that. I think it's like a new hobby that I've discovered um, but it can be very frustrating. But yeah, this is just to show that it doesn't matter if things don't come out perfect, I'm still really proud of it and it was great fun and I can't wait to do more. So whatever like hobby you want to try, just do it because you love doing it and because it brings you joy, not because of the outcome <laughs> and what other people think. And um, so I think that's it for me today. I really want to thank you all for all your support. It really does mean so much to me. And um, if you would like to check out that floral painting course, I'll pop the link in the description box. It would be amazing to have you join us and to see what creations you create with the course. It's only $7 at the minute, so if you're thinking about it, just sign up and let me know if you're not happy, we can arrange a refund. Um, so thank you so, so much. Uh, have a beautiful week and hope you get some painting done. Thanks guys, bye.